What's up guys, it's Mike here from Do It Yourself Task Force. Today I'm going to show you, we're doing a video basically on a entire, um, an entire laundry room renovation. Okay, uh, this is our laundry room. It's not so big, but as you can see we started kind of working on it already. But I decided to make a video right in the middle of it. Um, everything needs to get painted. The entire ceiling was redone, brand new sheetrock there. Uh, there was cabinetry at the top here as well as right there. What we did was we took it all down and it's basically right there. We have this older sink. We actually, we're gonna keep this type of sink but we're gonna be putting in a brand new sink. So for this entire video, let me just step back a little bit. What you're gonna be seeing is um, completely newly painted walls. We're gonna redo the floors. We're gonna pick up the remainder of this floor. We're gonna be putting down the same laminate floor as you see right here, going straight into this room here. We're going to be replacing these two washer and dryers. We're going to be getting um, a really nice set, stackable right here, a Frigidaire set. We're also going to be putting in a, um, a, a standing cabinetry right here on the side. And we're going to be replacing that sink right here. So overall, it's going to be a nice, really clean looking laundry room as soon as we're done. So uh, let's get started. I'm working on it already, but I decided to make a video right in the middle of it. Um, everything needs to get painted. The entire ceiling was redone, brand new sheetrock there. Uh, there was cabinetry at the top here as well as right there. What we did was we took it all down and it's basically right there. We have this older sink. We actually, we're going to keep this type of sink but we're going to be putting in a brand new sink. So for this entire video, let me just step back a little bit. What you're going to be seeing is um, completely newly painted walls. We're going to redo the floors. We're going to pick up the remainder of this floor. We're going to be putting down the same laminate floor as you see right here, going straight into this room here. We're going to be replacing these two washer and dryers. We're going to be getting um, a really nice set, stackable right here, a Frigidaire set. We're also going to be putting in a, um, a, a standing cabinetry right here on the side, and we're going to be replacing that sink right here. So overall, it's going to be a nice, really clean looking laundry room as soon as we're done. So uh, let's get started. So guys, in the room right now, we wanted the first thing we want to do is definitely get the, uh, the sink out of the way so that we could take the remainder of the carpet out as well as move the, uh, the, the current washer and dryer units kind of away from the wall. And um, this way we can uh, start really working on the room. So if you guys are not familiar on how to go about doing this, you have two knobs usually on your wash uh, on your uh, sinks, and what you want to do is you want to shut those valves off because those are the two valves that are actually pr providing water to uh, enter into the um, the sink. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and twist those both and shut them off. Basically, uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey. In this case, we're gonna tighten them up and uh, twist them to the right. Hey guys, so what I recommend doing first is actually detaching the uh, the stem, the down stem, basically where your water would drain down to the drain pipe and uh, detach that first because as you can see, we've been throwing a lot of crazy stuff down this piece and uh, it's pretty nasty, but overall this will make it move kind of away from um, from those two, co uh, those two um, cables right there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and detach those two as well. This way we can bring the entire thing forward and remove it from the wall. All right, so after working those two with my trusty wrench, this is the wrench I use. I actually really like this vice grip wrench. It gives you a really, really nice perspective on large to small. So that's what I use for that. And uh, I remove the down stem as well as the two cables. And then once these two cables are basically fairly loose from um, from those drains and um, you're basically going to hand screw them off because it was, it was pretty tight back there depending on your, your uh, space and whatnot. But as you can see this room is going to need some great room. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to spackle through this entire area to cover up all these holes. Let me get a little closer you'll see. There's a ton of holes because there was a huge cabinet right here. As you can see they painted it gray when the, wall, when the drywall was obviously white. But um, yeah. It's going to be a nice little project and I assure you it's going to look beautiful when we're done. Let me give you an outer perspective one more time of what we're looking at. We're looking to redo the floor. We're going to be putting in a new tub right here and uh, this is going to be a stackable all up and down right here as well as nice cabinetry 
all the way to the right. As you guys can see, we've now taken the entire sink out of here. Now we have plenty of room to work on the floor as well as move these machines. What I do want to tell you guys is one thing that's very important. Now this was the pipe. This was the down stem that was uh, attached to the bottom here as well as right to the sink. You want to make sure you don't really mess with this thing. Don't deattach it in, in the middle. Don't deattach it in certain areas where it's combined because it's precise to the exact uh, area. I mean, if you just moved into a property and you're switching it out, I would definitely keep this as long as it's in good condition. Definitely just take the top part down so that you can remove the actual sink. Other than that, keep everything attached. Don't play with too many things that you don't know what they are because I assure you, these things are cheap. But to get them to the perfect size, to get them to the perfect location and everything, if it's already done for you, don't mess with it. That's just my two cents. I am not a plumber. I am not a professional at this, but I've done plenty of do-it-yourself projects to know that this is um, this is worth more than you think for the fact that it's already pre-cut and pre-measured to the exact measurement that you need. As you can see now, we have uh, moved both machines out of the way, and uh, we're currently removing the baseboards. These baseboards were put in really, really hard, and it wasn't an easy procedure to actually. I mean, the process is. I tried to save the baseboards, but in this situation, we're just going to take them off and get uh, fresh baseboards because we're trying to get rid of this carpet and God knows what else is underneath this carpet so basically we, uh, it's really dusty in here too I recommend wearing a face mask but uh, as you can see we've been ripping this out you're gonna need a couple tools pliers a hammer a couple of um, a couple of screwdrivers and uh, get to work but uh, I think the end result will be all worth it with some fresh new uh, baseboards alright guys as you can see we're still lifting the floor up you might come in, you might come into certain situations where if you have purchased a home and uh, you don't really know what's going on on the floor but as you can see here me and my wife are uh, picking up this glue down tile you know uh, right over the uh, the uh, the boards the plywood here you have this as you can see here make sure you have gloves on guys no gloves it will be nice so basically the entire floor was like that, as well as carpet over it, you know. So different owners will start putting different things all over the, uh, all over the place. So uh, we're almost done getting the floor up. We have uh, two more baseboards to rip up, and uh, we'll go from there. And, and also, these, this washer and dryer, I'm just going to put it on Craigslist. Somebody will come and get it for a great price, because we did order two brand new washer and dryers. So I can't wait till we continue uh, doing the renovation on this room. And I can't wait to give you guys a really nice look at what we've done. So for right now, as you guys can see, the entire floor has been lifted up. Hopefully you're getting a good view. I'm not sure if I have the best light in here. But as you can see, all the baseboards are off too. We have no more sink. Everything is completely off the walls. We're actually going to start... Uh, spackling some of these holes. Uh, let me actually reduce the light. There you go. So as you can see, that's the that's the color differentiation currently with where um, an old storage was up on the wall, and you could see an enormous amount of holes, and they are everywhere. So I'm going to spackle those up everywhere. As so again, we took out the sink. We took out all the baseboards all around. As you can see, that we were able to salvage a few. We're not sure we're going to be using them, but uh, there's certain little minor areas that it would be ideal just to keep the ones that we took off. So the uh, the really hard cuts, like right in the corner of there, uh, we won't have to put in a new one. Though we can just kind of paint that area and just put a regular um, baseboard down. But as you can see, the room is really coming along. It already looks bigger. It already looks cleaner. Uh, all we need to do is the next step will be to spackle. After that, I will probably, after spackling, the entire room will get painted. After that, we will lay down the laminate floor. And then from there, I believe, we'll put down the baseboards and then from the machines to the new sink. All right guys, now that uh, round one is basically done, um, I am gonna just be spackling 
majority of these holes or all the holes and uh, that's going to be like kind of like round one round two in this room uh, regarding spackling as you can see everything's basically gone I got my spackle bucket it's the one with the green top uh, I forgot what brand but basically I don't feel like cleaning the like a spackle like a little spackle bu a bucket itself so what I'm going to do I'm going to use a, a small spackler take a little bit it's already whipped nicely for us and again I am far from a, a spackle pro all right, but all you want to do is just put a little bit on the holes. Just cover them up a little bit. All right, fill them in a little bit. It's kind of hard doing this, holding it with one hand. I'm sure, obviously, the pros can easily do it. Okay, but I am far from a pro at this. But basically, you just want to cover it up just like that. And then just kind of swoop down on it and make sure you're kind of covering the hole up a little bit. And what I'm going to do is, I mean, I'm, some people, there's different methods to uh, smoothing the spackle out. Some people, see that looks pretty good? Can't even see it. And this all just, all this other stuff right here, you just got to be real smooth on it. Some people are real fast at it. And then majority of the stuff that you've been throwing on there just kind of goes back on here. Put that back in the bucket and then you just keep on spackling. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be, um, <clears throat> the way that I do it is I do it with a sponge. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to sand this down, okay? I kind of just smooth it over with a sponge and you guys will see that next phase of that. But I just wanted to show you how I'm going ahead and spackle this stuff for some guys out there or some gals. If you're afraid to take something off and have crazy holes everywhere and you're thinking, oh my god, I'm going to have to spackle, how do I close these up? Spackling is really, really easy. Um, you could actually buy a small bucket of what I'm using. I think it's like $10, if not le way less. It might be like $8 at uh, Home Depot. A spackler is, I don't know, 5 to $8, maybe less. And that's really it. All you got to do is just throw a little on there, wait for it to dry and go over it with your sponge to make it nice and clean and that's really it and I mean it's going to take some practice honestly I've done this a, mo a number of times and I still can't get it like perfect for the guys that do it every single day yeah might be much easier for them but for us amateurs do it yourselfers it's going to take a little bit of practice but uh check the wall out now and check the wall out as you can see guys, we have now ripped everything out. We have gotten all the equipment out. I mean everything. The room is completely blank and as you'll notice, it's all painted white. Everything. It's looking real nice and clean all the way around. Now all we have to do is, uh, well I'm going to change the electrics. Probably uh, definitely that one. i got to check out that one. I'm not sure about that one. but. Uh, our next step is we're going to be getting the sink in here and um, in just a little bit the washer and dryer the stackable will be coming in here and just so you guys know over here is where we're going to have cabinetry but basically uh, you're going to see us right now the next step is to lay down the floor lay down this laminate floor so it kind of matches how it's coming out from here and then also we're going to go ahead and apply the baseboards back all the way around. It's going to, you know, give it a really nice finish. As soon as that floor is down, it's going to look great. But if you actually saw the beginning of the video, you guys know what this room used to look like. It was completely off color. There was things all, all throughout this wall here. As you can see, it was, you know, the spackle job actually came out quite nice. And I did sponge everything. Everything looks really great. As you guys can see, we went ahead and lined the floor with the, uh, with the blue padding for the laminate floor. And now we're going to be putting down the laminate floor, just snapping it in, kind of getting a, uh, an understanding and feel of how it's going to look throughout. Should be done pretty soon. Alright, well, as you can see, there was a little bit of change of plans. Instead of going with the wood going in, we thought it would be better 
just to put down, um, I forgot what this stuff is called, but basically it's an adhesive type of formula for these, uh, for these type of plates. And uh, they went down pretty smoothly and really easy. Uh, the reason why we ended up doing this, unfortunately, was because we actually ran out of uh, the laminate. And we just didn't have enough. And then trying to find the same brand that we had left over from doing our entire first floor, um, we actually just gave up on it. We needed this done as soon as possible because the new washer and dryer is coming in soon. Everything's in place. But overall, this came out really great. Now, we're just going to be putting on some, uh, as you can see, the baseboards are on. We are going to be putting a cord around all throughout. And uh, it's going to look quite nice. I like how the entire room feels. Um, also, if there's any spills or anything like this in a laundry room, it's a pretty easy cleanup. Um, overall, everything looks real nice and clean. Very new looking. I think it's coming out really well for a... Uh, for a few day renovation. So the latest update is this guys. We have the floor down. We now have the baseboards down. The entire room is completely painted. Everything is done real nicely. I haven't switched out those yet. Um, the new sink is in. It's all plugged in. The quarter round is in. Everything is set up. Everything's looking nice. Everything's looking smooth. Give you a shot up here. Um, everything went in really, really nice. The water works. Got this sink. It basically replaced our exact older one. Uh, this was like 30 bucks on, on eBay. Great sink for a laundry room. I do a lot of different types of, you know, uh, work around the house that might require some cleaning. It's a great tub for that type of purpose. Overall, I think the floor looks great. The baseboards look nice. The quarter round really provides a really nice finish to it. I'm really excited to see the, um, the stackable right here and then the closet right next to it. This is gonna look beautiful. And now, here is the final result. Look at that. Take a look at this. And take a look at this. Right? Two totally different things. I love the way that this came out. We got our stackable. We got our new floor. Everything was redone. Everything from the washer and dryer down to a cabinet. That, this is, alright, so got this from Lowe's. <clears throat> bought this from um, Lowe's online <clears throat> this was like 150 um, I think it's a decent buy you could get this actually if we went into Lowe's they wanted like a hundred dollars for the sink with the legs um, I found it online and it was actually delivered by Lowe's same size $35 makes no sense but great deal really happy with it overall the laundry room looks so good I mean the the before and after picture are just ridiculous. It is literally a completely different story. So everything was just repainted, respackled, all new cabinetry, and of course, a new washer and dryer. I'm really happy the way that it all came out. We decided to move these also down to the wall over here just to create more room when the door opens up. This way when you're walking through, Gives you a lot, uh, just more room just to kind of walk through because before the washer and dryer were right here side by side. So there wasn't as much room. But uh, now there's plenty of room. I'm probably also going to uh, install a motion sensor light in here. So as soon as the, like if you're coming in from the garage with the groceries, you open the door, the light automatically goes on which is a nice little feature this way you don't have to put things down and you know turn the light on and go you know go about your business that way but hope you guys liked uh, what I showed you here it's a pretty simple project I mean there's nothing that nobody can do here um, that I'm showing you um, everybody's capable of doing this I just wanted to show you a transformation from an old um, wash and dry room to the new the new laundry room how it looks the new setup the new floors, cabinetry, and equipment. Thanks. Thank you guys for watching.